investigators and welcome to the overview video for Point of No Return which is product number AHC42 in the Arkham Horror the Card Game line and the fourth Mythos pack in the Dream Eater Cycle which FFG are still offering free US shipping on and exciting art cards if you pre-order directly from them. They have stopped previewing and putting out articles about these on the main FFG site, but if you go to the Asmodee North America store, you can find confirmation and tiny little pictures. If you aren't in the US and your pack hasn't already been released, then you can use the QR code or CardGameDB to check out the card images, but do beware of spoilers. It comes in the standard blister pack which contains 60 fixed cards. If you are new to Arkham Horror the Card Game, our episode on the search for Kadath gives you a detailed explanation on what Mythos packs are and how they work. Opening it up, the cards are all shrink wrapped and grab yourself a stiff drink and a comfy chair as under the flap is something truly shocking. A single page rule sheet! Oh my word, when was the last time you saw one of those, eh? Not in our lifetime! But don't get that excited, our mighty bearded overlord has merely transferred his literary genius to story cards. Thousands of tiny print story cards. This is scenario 3B of the Web of Dreams campaign. It's the one that follows on from 2B, A Thousand Shapes of Horror, concerning the investigators that stayed awake and didn't go into the land of cats. Allegedly. If you ever get confused about which pack goes with which campaign, then each campaign log has a listing of all the scenarios or packs in order. Likewise, the FFG website allows you to read all the product descriptions. And let's spin the wheel of fish to see what new mechanic they've pulled out of Dexter Drake's hat this week. It's the Veiled keyword. Don't get excited, it's simply the mechanic that allows you to flip over locations and read the story card on the reverse. Technically, the rules say you are only allowed to flip each location and read it once, so best take notes if you want to play to the letter of the rules. Unusually, this scenario uses a single location card from a previous scenario, but it's from the deluxe box, so no worries if you're only buying the packs for campaign B. But for goodness sake, don't forget to put it back when you are done. And not content with that, this scenario uses 10 encounter sets. 10! You'll be shuffling for days! As for the player cards, each class gets... well, actually it's complicated. The rows get a pair of new cards. The Guardians get two upgrades from Partakarkosa and Dunwich Legacy. Survivors get two new cards, one of which is Myriad. Mystics get a new ally, who is a revamping of a classic, and a Myriad card, each copy of which is slightly different. And Seekers get three cards! No one card! No six cards! This is the payoff for the original untranslated Dream Diary that was released in Pack 1 The Search for Kadath. So, if you were only buying the packs for Campaign B, it sucks to be you right now! There is no neutral card, just as we were getting to love the Grey Faction once more. Let's give you a slideshow so you can have a read yourself! Wait a minute, did you get a sense of deja vu? If that weakness looks a little familiar, it's because it appeared in the last pack too. 
No, they didn't forget to put in an extra copy, and they haven't yet resorted to reprints because this game is dead. This is because there are twin campaigns, and if you want to have this weakness appear in both, you need two copies in separate campaign-specific Mythos packs. And it's definitely not a basic weakness, so don't be shuffling it in with your others. Oh, it's Inspector Fox and Inspector Thompson's Gazelle of the Yard telling us to shut down this video.